Welcome to Meet and Match Digital Platform of Linea Pelle Fair. Hello, Rick Lee. Uh, hello, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good and I wish that you are doing good as well. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm so glad to see you on online and uh, all the family from Italy and the Linea Pelle as well. Great. Rick, tell me more about your journey. Uh, I, my name is Rick Lee and I'm a fashion designer and also I'm a professor in, in the fashion design and textile design at Hongik University. And I learned my women's wear line, it's called Rick Lee, and I produced in Italy and in, in also in Europe as well. And I used to teach also in Italy at Domus Academy. So that's my uh, journey. <laughs> Great. So this means that materials, so surfaces, are one of the foundation in your job. So what what are you looking for materials at the moment? Um, as a women's wear uh, designer, we actually develop our own textile with our own drawings and you know the graphics and our own storytelling uh, textile. So actually, in my collection, that I'm looking for fabric uh, decoration in terms of print and textures and colors. So those three sectors are main focus. Uh, focused on our jobs in the fabric decorations. Uh, for instance, embroidered and the embellishment or dyeing or print. So those, you know, the sectors that I'm very interested. And recently that occurs the this pandemic area that I'm also looking for eco-friendly material, which is sustainable uh, material. So for me, uh, eco-friendly and sustainability is something timeless design in textile and the zero waste, uh, also durable and something, you know, it's possible to recycle. For instance, that if I use the lace, after that you can use something else. I don't know, it can be a bag or it can be a shoes from the wedding dress, for instance. So those two topics are my interest at the moment. <laughs> Interesting for me as well, because you've, you, you give some very specific detail that can help us to understand more what is missing in the material proposal at the moment for you. Um, actually, from Korean side, from the industry and the education side, uh, Italian, you know, the fabric industry are very famous for high quality and the modern design and uh, innovation in material. So that's, those three topics are, I mean, the, from all over the world, everybody is actually expecting. Uh, from my side, um, I'm looking for CMF, those three sections, which means color, material, and finishing or treatment. So those three topics are me and um, uh, our Korean, you know, the companies are looking for in Italy. Um, for instance, in Korea, the Korean fabric companies are very strong in uh, synthetic fabric from the, from the oil. For instance, uh, outdoor, sportswear or industrial fabric sectors, they are very strong, but something that we don't have in Korea, for instance, Italian decorations and the rich in color and print, uh, also in textures as well. If those fabrics are in uh, solid color and we are looking for also the uh, finishing and touching uh, also textures as well. So th all of these are to summarize, I would say CMF, color material uh, treatment or finishing. I like your sentence, CMF. <laughs> this is a very good, interesting Yeah, actually these words are a very rising part in not only in fashion, 
but also um, in product design and also automobile design, also in uh, visual uh, communication design. Everybody thinks that digital is just on screen, but in the future, it will be touching. I mean, the color, material, and treatment will be like textile, even though it's a digital. So it's actually a very big issue. And I found that not many people are so expert in this part. You know, I know many people in Italy, but you know, for instance, in Korea, we have so many digital designers, what you call the UX designer, uh, you know, the user experience design. We have too many, <laughs> but there are many, very few people are, you know, specialized in the color and material and finishing. So, okay. yeah. I see, I see, and it is interesting to, to know this. I have one more question. What do you suggest to Italian material suppliers? What do you expect from them if they want to enter to Korean market now in this specific moment? Um, I actually, I already told you about the uh, CMF, the issue, and also the kind of decoration and the emotional design in textile and material. That's um, in Korea, we don't have that much of the people. Also in terms of the, um, in the whole Asia, I felt like we don't have such a many specialists in the, those, uh, you know, the color and, you know, the coloring is not so easy sector. Uh, it's chemical, you know, and it's so much involved in um, sustainability as well. So it's not so easy uh, part. Great. So the color, it's uh, one of the most interesting focus for you. And it's even more one of the first elements that materials company choose and pick as a first according with the texture and according with the composition of the material. Rick, thank you very much for your mm. quote and for your opinion, because I really think they are so precious mm. for both. I wish we can see and meet very soon in Korea or in Italy. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for your time. And uh, I really look forward to see everybody in Italy and also in Korea. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>